You see, I told you. I told you. I had to turn my light on. Believing she was Hepshedset, the guardians allowed her in the secret chambers, and she let me in. By the energy on that wall, I don't know what it is. She blessed me. Her temple. Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel. Let's get into it. I'm Kenyatta, the art detect. On this channel, we destroy and we build simultaneously. Once again, I am Kenyatta, but you will refer to me as Miss Kenyatta, Queen, Goddess, or Ma'am. I have no foes nor friends on this platform. I'm not a part of any groups or any or round tables or anything of that nature. I work alone. If you are here to enjoy the reading, take what resonates and leave the rest. By nature of some of the readings, they may there may be aspects that you feel that you do not resonate with, but since they are God-given dreams, visions, and insights, it is essential and imperative for you that you use your God-given third eye to catch what is there for you. As there is something in all of my readings that will resonate for you, that is why you have been sent here. Disrespect, a spirit of lack, being common with myself or others who are supportive of me on this platform, and a hunger for ignorance will not be tolerated in my realm. Now please, open your hearts, minds, souls, and spirits, and be ready to receive, conceive, then birth. The title of this reading is simply The Bald Man from the Rider Waite Tarot Deck. So I saw a man, a really, really, really big man. I think, is it the juggernaut? Let me see if that's who I'm thinking of. Put you in the mind of that uh, X-Man character. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Put you in the mind of the juggernaut. Big dude. Okay. Um, I want to say Caucasian, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay. Uh, because he was very, very light. He didn't look like he was, you know, uh, black American or black or anything like that. Just like a light skin. No, he looked up of another, possibly of another race, but I couldn't tell you what. And really, I only really saw him really good. I saw him, but I only saw him really good from the neck up. There's no no other description than that. There's nothing specific. I mean, you know, there's no uh, nothing specific that he was dressed like this and he was doing this ABC and D. No, that's all I saw. Yet he still made his presence known here. Let's see who he is. Why did he present himself? All right, let's get into it here. We have 10 of pentacles upright, nine of cups here in reverse, Page of Pentacles upright. Mm. Page of Cups in reverse and the King of Cups upright. Okay, I, I don't know. I think this may have something to do with family, home, love, something like that, but I'm not sure. Okay. I feel like this man wanted a family. I didn't have one, but I wanted one so desperately. Okay, so bad. I wanted a home. Husband, wife, children, 
all of that. That would have meant the world to me. That would have meant everything to me. But I was not allowed to have that. You know, I'm here like in my circle, my realm, my world. It simply could not be. They would not allow me to live this way. Okay. So I feel like this man was really unhappy here, not content. Okay. Not fulfilled. You're not, um, you know, satisfied here. I don't know. Maybe this man was used here. I was able to do a lot of things. Push, I'm hearing. I'm going to push equipment, build things. I'm, I'm asking you, was he big like what I saw? I'm hearing huge. I was a huge man, a huge dude is what I'm hearing, okay? It's like too huge for words. I was built that way, made that way. I was always that way ever since I was a small child, okay? I was just a huge person, a huge man. I was able to, again, build things, put things together for others. And they used me to do this. Okay? There's no love here. There's none. Not even anything, you know, of a selfish nature. Just nothing. Okay, let's see. I don't know. I don't I kind of feel like this man was in some kind of facility or something. And was I feel like this is this was the person who ran the facility, this King of Cups. Just uh, almost like no heart. Didn't really care. I feel like this man had his family. He had his home. I mean, very nice. Okay. Loving, you know, quote unquote, loving community. But not, not in the facility that this man was in who I'm talking about. I feel like this man ran this facility. Or was, I don't even think he ran the facility. I just feel like he was the boss. Whatever kind of company this was, whatever kind of organization, group, or whatever the hell it was, I feel like he was over it. A man of means, I feel like, okay? Had power, had authority. Okay, what he said, you know, went. You, do what he, you did what he said do. Okay. If he found that some changes need to be implemented or whatever, Okay, there was no come in and um, will maybe insert is that another. No, you're going to do, in other words, what the hell you're told to do my way, okay, or the highway, period, point blank, okay. I don't even know if it was really the highway. You're just going to do what I'm telling you to do. The sun card upright. Two of cups in reverse. Okay, nine of pentacles in reverse. Ten of Swords in reverse. And as big as this man is, okay, it's like I see him in tears, not being able to have what he wants, not being able to live the life that he wants. I don't know. I feel like he was like lived at that facility, was imprisoned there, forced to do things simply because of his size. That was part of it, okay? I don't know. If the, I feel like there might have been some experimentation going on here. I mean, there was lots, and I was a part of it, okay? I was used here. Okay. But once again, I feel like this person here who ran this uh, facility here, okay, um, <clears throat> okay, I feel like his life was completely different. I feel like he had everything that he wanted. But I feel like for this man who we're reading for, this big man, I feel like um, it would have meant everything to him to have this Ten of Pentacles here and to even have a friend. I had no friends. I had no one, no luck, nobody, okay? And I, I, again, I feel like he lived at the facility. I don't feel like this was anything where this man was, um, <clears throat> you know, nine to five, got off his job, now let me go home. Okay, or was able to take care of himself in any way. He might have been there for a long time. Had been there since. Hold on. I feel like he had been there a long time. Mm -hmm. I'm here like my mom put me there for money. 
I feel like he came from a very poor community. They gave us money. But I feel like, you know, he may have been told not to look at this as something like, um, oh, this is so terrible. You know, like a betrayal. But look at what you're doing for humanity. We're building this. We're doing this. This is, you know, so not to be looked at as any kind of betrayal. But plus, I feel like, like I heard my mom put me there for money. She, we needed money. She needed money. She needed help, survival here. Okay. So these may, whatever this group organization is, they may go out and scout a, uh, you know, hunt. Let's call it scouting if you choose. Okay, people who would you know fill their needs, people who would not be missed, quote unquote. But it seems like people just simply would not care. They're not gonna be missed. Don't nobody care about them. That poor population over there. All I all, all I gotta do is get a mama some money, and she'll give me her child, and we can do what we will. Knight of Pentacles in reverse, the Tower card upright, okay? Six of Cups upright. Mm -hmm. Like I said, this man had been there since he was young. These people, whatever this facility and organization group, whatever it is you want to call it, they may have... Um, it may have may have formed a somewhat of a family here with them, okay? Only in the sense I ain't saying it was happy family, but pretty much where you know. Even they talk about I don't know how real this is, but was it what is it uh that Disney thing where the little boy was raised in the jungle? Okay, the animals was his family. There there have been documentaries about that. I mean, you find some on YouTube where, you know, these children some kind of way are ended up being raised with uh, uh, animals or something like that. Okay. I remember one time here, oh my God, years ago, there was a family, well, a couple who had been arrested for, I think they had their child caged down there with the dogs or something like that. So what do you think the child became? The child couldn't talk. You know, the child was old enough to be able to speak. We ain't talking about like one. No, the child was on all fours, rough, 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 goddamn. So that's what I mean. Is this this facility here, in a sense? Because as I was asking questions about this man, he kind of called him his father, but I don't think this is not this man's birth father. No, he's not. But he became as such. I had been there all my life, like I said, okay. Exchange, money, the mother, here. Here's some money, probably not that much, but something, okay, that maybe she felt like she needed, maybe she wasn't working or something like that, okay, which was a breakdown of her and this man, her and her child giving away, the selling of, so that I could live. And she might have been lied to and told that, oh, we're going to do all this for them. You know, and then maybe not. Knight of Wands, in reverse, the Emperor, upright. Mm. <laughs> Queen of Cups, upright. There's someone greater here and more powerful than this man, this emperor upright. Okay, let me see. I feel like this man here never had an opportunity to really grow up, okay? So he might have been even like stunted in his growth, um, in his development, okay? Um, emotional, in, in every way, emotional, you know, mental, spiritual, okay? Because of this facility here that he was stuck in. Okay, and I'm being clung to. Okay, uh, it's almost like I, I, he, there was a fear to even go outside. Okay, because I see him as a small child. Door open, him hanging onto the door like no. 
everything. I feel like he clung on to whoever, you know, whoever maybe might have been a handler or something like that for him in the facility. Okay. A man. I hung on to this man, clung on to this man here. Okay, he helped me get through the process of what was going on here, okay? I mean, like, it was demented, like torture. It was torturous, okay? All work. That's all I did was work. Day in and day out, work, work, work. Okay, push things, build things, make things happen, okay? Great, he was just being used here. And I feel like he was experimented on as well. Okay, I'm hearing a little, not as much as the others. I'm not getting into that. Might have been this man that he clung on to, but I feel like this man here, this emperor, I feel like he was more powerful than him. And for some reason, I feel like this is father and son. Yes. Hmm. And family business, maybe. No. But they did run the organization. It's very powerful here. Hold on. Hmm. I'm not getting an answer. I'm asking him, you know, his connections. <laughs> he is dead silent on that. Maybe he didn't know. Okay. Or maybe it's for some kind of an ounce of protection here. You don't know. I'm hearing like retreat. And I'm also hearing you don't want to know. It cannot be spoken of. Okay. There were things done here though. Okay. That many are aware of. Okay, and we're not just talking about, you know, you lay, lay people here, all right? Hmm. I feel like this facility might have been closed down. Removed, I'm hearing. Let go. No longer funded. They stop funding, okay, giving them the funding here, okay, to do this. We ended that, okay. This facility here was closed down, okay. Mm. I feel like this man went and tried to make a life for himself but could not. Okay, it let me go, all right? Um, but again, this was like his home. And they, he was like, that, you know, one of their projects, what they had built up, what, you know, the, look at what he became here, what he did here. He had been there since he was a child, okay? I feel like this man died alone. There was nothing. It's like there was nothing I could do Okay. Um, even if I feel, personally I feel like you know even if he could you know go out there you may say get a job okay and say where you been for the last you know 30 40 years however old he was if, if, if he can't even say what this was and protection better not say you know funding secret etc cetera, etc cetera, and what they was doing what, 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 what was he gonna say he was working who could vouch for him and say who what he was did he even have any kind of identification nothing I had nothing here I died a lonely old man. I died by myself. There was nothing. There was no one. Everyone dispersed. Okay? And I feel like no one would help him. I'm not even quite sure this man asked for help. I'm feeling like didn't know how. Didn't know what world he was going out into. But he had no choice but to leave that facility. Okay? Because it was closed down. I mean, it was removed once again. Okay? 
feel like he just went on his own. I'm here met an untimely death, okay? Like wasn't supposed to, quote unquote, wasn't supposed to die, okay? So early, so soon. There might have been another life path for him. I, I don't know, you know, how to make that determination here. But this is what he ended up living. Okay, and I'm here. He is gone. Rest his soul. Okay, may he rest in peace. Okay, here I am. I am just here to show you. Okay, something about counter, counteract. I'm not sure. I'm just hearing that word. Okay, but to show you what had occurred in my life, and there are others, many others. Who have dealt with the same thing believe it okay i'm hearing that's it please like share and subscribe thank you